Like, I'm sorry. We're paying this money to fall through the floor? I'm sorry. Did I miss something? five days that was because I was brainstorming some video ideas I, I want to do some bomb challenges for y'all and like you know get my friends involved and just have a bomb like just pff, do fun stuff so today's video is going to be a video of unpopular opinion New York City edition <laughs> I'm saying I've seen other videos like New York problems it's kind of like that but and this is different this is just strictly about New York City because this is stuff that goes on here that nobody nobody knows but everybody think this is the city to be like yes it's a city to be but the city to live in my part is crooked anyway the, the city, this is not the city to live in. Like, it's cool and stuff. Yeah, I got some pros, but New York City most definitely has its cons. So, if you're ready for this video, you know what I'm saying? Just stay tuned. Now, let's Sorry, if I, you see me looking down, it's because I have, like, like, I have it in my notes. But I don't want to, like, have my phone up, you know? So, I'm just going to, like, be looking down at my phone. So, the number one most unpopular opinion about New York City is um, MTA is always messed up no matter what day it is. It don't matter what day it is because and if y'all want a part two to this let me know in the comment section down below. Like it could be a Monday the trains and plus it depends on what type of hour it is what time of the day it is because don't expect for you to go somewhere you know at probably like 12 o'clock and expect to get there at 1 30 because some stuff always happens on the mta ain't nothing promised you always gotta have a backup plan for something just in case like if something do happen you gotta act quickly and move quickly because you don't know what can happen and that's the suckish part about it because somebody could go off a bit get hit by a train or it could be train traffic or the station could be overly crowded and we're gonna get into that and the next second one is seeing crazy things on the MTA. Now, New York City is known for like crazy stuff that's actually going on on the subway. New York, you from New York City, you know what I'm saying? Comment down below, but we don't call the MTA the subway. We call it the damn train. Okay? We call it the train, because why? Because it's a train. So, <laughs> I'm not going to be using the subway. MTA is the train, anyway. So, you always do some crazy stuff like on the train going on i'm pretty sure it's like a lot a lot a lot of freaking videos on youtube of people going insane on the train fighting we got people fighting you got people selling stuff there's this one particular man and i think he stays in brooklyn comment down below if y'all ever seen this guy before if you're from new york city let me know in the comment section down below is this particular man he always has a suitcase always selling stuff like he sell, I think he sell nutcrackers. I seen him sell sandwiches one time. The nutcracker, five dollars a piece on the nutties. Take a sip, bust your lip, capitalize, strategize on the twelve ounce strength. 
on Newport, Philly Sink, two four dollar on the Newport, Philly Sink, two four dollar, one hundred. Movies, one for three, two for five on the movies, two movies for five dollars. But if you're not single person, let's break bread for the Moreno. Stores open here. Hoodies, movies, Lucy's, water, and that bar on deck. Let's grab it up. Take care of business. Stores open. Listen, you know what I said? You gotta find a hustle. Hustle and get. Shh. Get your hustle from somewhere, period. And that's facts. Like I'm on camera. What's somebody's thing's cold oil? Now it's just all over the place. Y'all see what I did? Oh my god. Hold on, I'm sorry. There you go, it's fixed now. <laughs> but anyway. There's always some crazy stuff going on MTA, like. And then especially you you gotta hustle. Listen, you got no money, you gotta find a hustle somewhere. Get something and sell it. That's all. Period. That's all we're about in New York City. You gotta find something to hustle. You gotta find your coin. You gotta find to get your money worth. That's a fact. So, the next one is that this city is overpopulated. It's overly populated. It. I don't understand why New York City is so overly populated. I honestly think we're overly populated in the Bronx and in Brooklyn. Because there's no way how people in housing... I seen on the news housing that people falling in the freaking in their bathroom, they're caving in in the floor. Do that make sense? Like New York City housing needs to get it together. Like I could not be dealing with that falling in bad enough. I already had a situation. I should have vlogged it. My dad told me to like do a video on it, but let me know in the comment section. I'll put it in a poll right here. Um, basically, long story short, my ceiling basically almost fell on me like i never spoke about it but i should have spoke about it but yeah if y'all want a whole separate video about that let me know in the comment section below but yeah basically my ceiling almost fell on me golf like i'm just so thankful because i honestly got up out of bed like something told me to get out of bed but like it was just crazy because it was like what if i was laying there then what like what was gonna happen it's just like stuff that happens in new york city the 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 city that doesn't like everybody wants to come here they say this is a city that never sleeps but it's like the government and the city also doesn't take care of the people that's living in the city y'all get what i'm saying because it's like so many stuff that's going on and these housing stuff is like freaking ridiculous it don't make no sense people that don't even have heat and it's freezing cold outside and it's like, why are we paying all this money if we don't have heat? Some people don't even have hot water. Like, people gotta boil water. Like, why? Like, I'm sorry. We're paying this money to fall through the floor? I'm sorry. Did I miss something? I'm paying money to do that. Do that make sense? Am I paying money to get cold water? Am I paying all this money to not get heat? It just doesn't make sense. Like, New York City needs to get it together. The city needs to get it together. Housing needs to get it together. Because it makes no sense how people been living there for 10 plus years, 5 plus years, 20 plus years, 30 plus years. And they still getting these bad... Like, their housing is in bad condition. I don't understand. And this is the most, this is the probably the most city that probably has a lot of money. I don't understand why the city does not take care of our people. I don't understand, and especially the the poor income. Like I don't get it. Like I honestly don't understand that. But I can go on and on about next that. one. Number four is the tourists. The tourists here is ugh, so annoying. They're so annoying. Especially in Manhattan, 42nd Street, Times Square. If I have any New York people, New York YouTubers that know what I'm talking about, comment down below because they can be annoying. They're annoying, bro. I don't get it. They're so annoying. I'm sorry. Why is it that serious for you to take a picture right in the middle of the walkway? The middle of the sidewalk. Why are you taking a picture in the middle of the sidewalk? Why? You're asking to get pushed. You're asking to get cussed at. Why are you standing there? taking a picture you see everybody you see people walking back and forth so just like the way y'all do it it's like so annoying bro can y'all just move to the side and just like 
you know, take out the pictures. I don't mind people taking pictures, but it's irritating. It's like, bro, come on. You taking pictures of lights. <sighs> and you know they're tourists because they have something on their, their neck and then they're taking pictures of weird places. Like, I even seen a tourist take a picture of a stop sign. Like, why are you taking a picture of a stop sign? Okay, so the next one is guys break dancing on trains. Oh my god. Oh my, god. oh my god. Where you're from, Queens, Brooklyn, Staten Island. It don't matter what train you on. It's always gonna be that one group of people that gonna wait till the doors close. They're gonna wait till the train pull off the station. So when if you know it's real when they announce <laughs> Listen, I'ma enter the clip. <laughs> I'ma find the clip, I'm gonna enter it. Yo. I know I'm gonna hey! Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. They, as soon as you hear that, you know they're gonna start break dancing. You know they're gonna start break dancing, child. They're gonna start break dancing. Be prepared, cause a lot of people like to record shit. I, me, I like to record them. I got a couple of snaps of them, but I'm not gonna put it in here, cause you know I'm gonna copyright it. But anyway, yeah, it's a lot of hustles that you can do in New York. You get your coins. I'm just saying. Period. You just gotta go out there and go get it. It ain't gonna come to you, baby. It ain't gonna come to you. And that's facts, period. So when there's crowded trains, this annoys the crap out of me so much is because like I don't understand like how the tra the, the, the platforms be crowded and it just be multiple trains coming through and the, the platforms still be crowded. The trains still be crowded for like three, four stops. Not even. I think like two stops. Two, three stops. Depending on where. Mainly, I think mainly it's in Manhattan. But the trains being crowded. Like, I don't like people on top of me. I'm sorry. I don't, especially, I don't know. I have one dude breathing on my neck. And his breath stink. Like, it, bro. Are you dumb or are you stupid? Back, back up. Why are you that close to me? I don't understand. Overcrowded platform. I actually addressed that. So the last one is trains take forever to arrive. Forever, forever. Especially late night. Oh, what? You coming from somewhere? 1 30, 2 30 in the morning? Oh, don't expect you get to the, uh, the train station Then you just gonna leave like that instantly. Because once you see that little indicator, I'm gonna try to put a clip or a picture of what that looks like. And that's a 24 minutes or 30 minutes? Baby, you better have some headphones. You better, better have a snack. I don't want to say sleep because I wouldn't want to sleep in the train station. Or find another route, like I said, because that comes in clutch for moments like these. Because I'm sorry, I don't want to stand in no platform for no 24 minutes for no train. Like, I'm sorry. Especially in Brooklyn. I think in Brooklyn, it'll be the worst. Like, in Manhattan, that's when those trains, you'll see them trains come in like 20 minutes, 23 minutes. I'm sorry, or 15 minutes. That's the worst. I'm not awake no 15 minutes for no train. But yeah, y'all, those are my unpopular opinions and unpopular opinions about New York City, the New York City edition. Let me know if you like this video, if you want a part two. I'm gonna put in a pose right here. You know what I'm saying, period, poo. And I have any, you know, New York supporters down in the comment section down below. Make sure you comment down below. So, we got, yeah, y'all. So, yeah, if y'all like this video, make sure you give me a big fat thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe, subscribe if you haven't already. We're on road to 2K, period. We're close, but we getting there. Period, poo. So, yeah, y'all. I'll see y'all guys in the next video. Peace.